As drummers, it is our number one job to keep steady time and lock in the groove. And the majority of what we play as drummers is just keeping the time and keeping the groove. But most of our problems occur when we go to play fills or go to play something that's a little bit too complex or out of our comfort zone. So today I'm gonna to be utilizing a little metronome trick that I like to use in my practice sessions from time to time, which forces you to be in control of the time instead of always using the metronome as the timekeeper and responding to the time. What I'm gonna be doing is only having the metronome beeping on beat one of every single measure. And so this is only going to provide you with a reference check one beat per measure. All that space in between where you're keeping the time, you have to make sure that you're keeping it steady. And when it goes back to beat one, that's where you check in to see if you've rushed or dragged. And what I'm gonna do with this is essentially play three measures of a groove and on that fourth measure, start to expand on some fills. I'm gonna keep things simple in the beginning and really make sure that I am keeping steady pulse and landing exactly on beat one coming out of the fill. And as I start to feel comfortable with that tempo, I'm gonna start to expand the different rhythms that I'm playing in the fill. I might start to extend the fill phrase into a longer phrase. But if I make a mistake, which is gonna happen very frequently within this practice session, I'm gonna tell myself, okay, simplify it, make the fill easier rhythms, and really focus on the timing of what you're playing, as well as thinking about the transition into the fill and then back into the groove. If you've never tried this before, this can really be a humbling experience. And if it's been a while since you've done it, um, it's always good to refresh on this type of stuff. This is one of those metronome approaches that is so beneficial in your development of timing as a drummer. And it's really gonna highlight where your weaknesses are in your timing. So as I'm going through this, listen for all the moments where I rushed or dragged, and I'll do my best to highlight them on the screen at the end of each fill, because this is what's going through my head while I'm doing this exercise. I'm constantly analyzing, was I ahead or behind the click? and then identifying what the problem was in my subdivision in the fill. Before we jump into this practice session, if you've been watching my videos for a while but have yet to subscribe, please consider subscribing. Over 90% of my viewers are actually new viewers that are non-subscribed, so I'm very grateful that you have checked out my channel. Consider subscribing, it's free and it really helps me a lot. Now let's get on to this practicing. So I've set my metronome to 30 beats a minute, which means that I'll be playing at 120 beats per minute, but the metronome is only going to be beeping on beat one of each measure.
So you could definitely hear in there, a lot of my mistakes were uh, slight rushing or slight dragging, getting back to the one. But there were a couple times in there where I just completely had a brain fart in the middle of my fill. And you noticed me doing a lot of repetition when a particular fill didn't feel very good to play and I didn't feel like I was relaxed and in control. I tried to repeat that multiple times to gain control and relaxation over that and really allow myself to think about what I'm playing. So give this exercise a try and let me know down in the comments if you like this type of video where you see kind of a little snippet of one of my practice sessions. I know for me personally, I always enjoy watching drummers work on different things. And I know it's always refreshing to see drummers make mistakes and then learn from the mistakes and uh, correct their playing along the way. Something that I am trying to do all the time. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you appreciate the content, and I'll catch you in the next video.